Tension has armed bandits open fire on Fulani herdsmen. <laughs> See unthinkable things done to their cows and sheep. Nigerians, matter don't they change you. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for let's stopping by. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Bandits storm a headers camp in Kurutu village in Kachi, local government area, Kaduna State, killing two of the headers with gunshot wounds and wrestling many cows and sheep. At around 5 o'clock on Sunday, the attack happened. The bandit struck when two headers tried to stop them from stealing their livestock, according to Shehu Aliyu, a resident of the nearby village of Azazara. The headers tried to protect the animals, but the bandits were armed and overpowered them, resulting in the tragic loss of lives Aliyu recounted. The incident was confirmed by a community leader who wished to remain nameless. The leader stated that the two headers lost their lives during the altercation. The bandit not only took the life the lives of the headers, but also made away with several cows and sheep, leaving the community desert deserted or devastated. I meant to say, he told Daily Trust the tragedy has raised locals' fears about the area security posture, and they are pleading with the authorities to act quickly to stop any more attacks. Concerned about bandit activities in the area, the village had stated that Kurutu Dam Forest in Kachir, local government area Kaduna State, had become their primary hiding place. The traditional ruler said the criminals roamed the forest unopposed. Speaking with our reporter over the phone on Wednesday under the condition of anonymity for security reasons. The majority of those kidnapped from several villages within the jurisdiction of the Kachi and Kagarako local government districts, as well as the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, were carried to the forest, he said, adding that Kuturutu, Dan community, was two kilometers away from Hazaraza village. He claimed that the community's banditry was concerning because they were operating in broad daylight. Even at the weekly Friday Kuturutu Dan Market, they usually buy things and go back to the forest without molest molestation from anybody, he explained. The majority of the bandits in the forest, according to him, left the state of Zamfara State and Castina. He claimed further that the attacks in various areas of Jerry, Rijana, and the Katari Aziz under Kachi were carried out by the bandits, and they urged the government to send out a combined military force to drive them out of the forest. So make the government send Nigerian soldiers there. As then they come, on I go tell them, say, they don't, they don't, they road do, they are coming. On I go finish them. Those people went and they buy those soldiers. Now people, husband, now people, children, now people, father. Since you people refuse to do the needful, when all this nonsense started, on I go defend on ourselves, so, because even the federal government of Nigeria, they are not ready to do the needful. That is the truth. Now, these bandits, you people told us when they started that they are foreigners. They are foreigners. They are not from Nigeria. They are foreigners. But with the situation went by, these people, they enter village, they buy food. When they sell for them, they get customers. When they carry things, they go, they meet them. And they know that those people are the wicked people. When I cover them up. You see now, they don't come for now. 
This will shock you that operatives of the Nasarawa State Police Command on Friday arrested a woman, Haruna Sani, for allegedly concealing 124 rounds of anti-craft ammunition in a gallon of palm oil. Not be present with that. The command public relations officer, Ramhel Nasero, reviewed this in a, in a statement posted on X on Saturday. According to him, the state police operatives also arrested a suspect with cash, sum of 78500 and a mobile phone while trying to smuggle the ammunition to Castina State. The Commission of Police, Shewu, has ordered the transfer of the suspects and exhibit to the Force Intelligence Department, Force Headquarters in Abuja, for further investigation. I bet that matter is gone on arrival. This one, when they don't transfer the matter like that, we understand how they, they play these games. So you see, you see, when these people started, when I say they are foreign Fulanis, and when I know saying that, then they do the thing. Me, I don't know. Now, me, I tell her, talk up. But when they do what thing that they do, we are not go fear identify them. Say, so see them, all, our hands are clean. Now they are coming after you guys. So, everybody get ready. Defend yourself. That is what one Islamic uh, preacher said the other day. You see, make Nigerians defend themselves because the matter don't come off or be careful. As it be like this, Everybody go, you know, try to save in head. Because the way the whole thing they go now, you for your head. You encourage these people, you be their customers. They get women. Women, they go, they meet them. <laughs> they go still come back. They get people when they set things, they go, they give them food stocks. You think you are doing business. A day will come, it will cut on you. You know all these things. Evil, you are covering it up. It will get back to you. That is how this life is created. It's automatic. You think that God is this and that. Everything that was created by God, get law. If you do good, you could go pick up. If you do bad, it will come back to you. Even when you are pretending, you are playing smart. You can never be smart. You can never be smarter than God. It will bounce back on you. So this is the time of reaping. Everybody could reap what you have sowed. I will make we hit another news. May the souls of those killed rest in peace. I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video. Let it go viral.